what's going on guys how are you this is shocks and this is shocks capital fx welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing well you are keeping safe if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss any video from this channel so today um we want to talk about price action rules that every trader needs to know so this is inclusive of uh, beginners and and advanced traders so this these are some of the things which you need to know so i'm going to tell you the rules then i'll be explaining a rule by rule rule by rule until we get to the last rule then i'll give you a secret that you can use to uh, to integrate all the rules so number one you have to follow the trend so there are ways that we can use to follow the trend or there are technical methods that we can Im employ to aid us in what in trend following so those ones uh will be explained uh in this video and um so much more take note of continuation patterns that's rule number two you have to know and identify at the continuation patterns don't be caught in a continuation thinking it's a trend change or something like that rule number three you have to avoid sniper entries and the sniper entry is in court why because you know what i'm doing what i'm trying to say most of your sniper entries uh, don't catch anything so i'm just trying to tell you to avoid that mistake then number four we are going to be looking at uh taking only confirmed reversals don't try to to predict a reversal don't try to predict a reversal you're not a magician you're a trader so stick to that the rule number five uh don't be greedy you have to know your exit points you have to know your exit points the way you are so obsessed with entry points should be the same way you are obsessed with what with exit points in what in trading so that's what we are doing so we start with what uh following trends so if you are trading price action you need to be able to follow trends and there are two ways of doing that and the first one is what using market structure where you will be <clears throat> looking at the market identifying these peaks and identifying where price is going where we are saying if you are in a downtrend you'll be forming what you'll be forming lower highs this is a lower high and this is a lower high uh this is a lower high so you will be in a downtrend and forming this you know you are in the right direction so if you are if you okay let's let's look at another example here you see you see what we are talking about we have this peak right then we have a lower low right a lower high a lower low a lower high etc 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 until price gets to where it wants to be to go right so you'll be looking at price breaking what breaking this and if you see a break like this know that um you it, it doesn't signify anything or it doesn't tell you uh any story why because you're saying when a lower low or a lower high is taken out by a pin it's not a very good indication of anything pertaining to what to market structure so what it means is uh maybe yeah it's a stop hand or a liquidity grab but it's not a, a break of a what of a low or a high so that's what we are doing so if you see something like that you know your 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 original trend uh, still stands right so that's what we are doing and uh the other way of following trends or a technical way that you can use is using trend lines if you draw your trend lines and your channels you will know that most of the time price will be respecting those trend lines and it can also aid you in getting your in getting uh very good entries look this is the first step the second step the third step and when price does break a trend line it comes back to what to retest like what you, you are seeing in this in this picture so this is the h4 and if you can get a trend line like this on h4 it's very high probability and you need to be looking at that and look at this these are trend lines showing us where price is likely to go and if you are like me uh you are someone who knows um how to use like shapes and how shapes work in what in price continuation and things like that so this might be a pennant that's a kind of a 
<clears throat> that's giving an impression of what of an uptrend but you will see that from this move we see that after this move we kind of prepared or we kind of had a move that looks the same way like that which means this is a pennant and if you knew that at this point you know that price is going to consolidate while retracing back to a point of entry or a point of interest then uh, produce a move that looks like the same move that it had produced in the first place so this is what we are doing and we are still in a downtrend why because we are using our trend lines to denote a continuation pattern and we are using uh, our market structure to know our direction so those are two ways you can use then number two i said you have to take note of what of continuation patterns so when you say continuation patterns we're talking about pendants we're talking about flags we're talking about uh all the all that stuff that we use uh, as shapes to what uh, to continue in a particular trend i have a very good example here we have this move down right so this is eu eu prints this a lot and if you want you can be trading this with a broker that is showing on your on your screens right now so we have this pennant right so after after the break you are expecting price to what price to uh melt as it did here and if you can mark out this order block you can find a beautiful beautiful entry at the end of that at the end of that pennant so you have to take note of these patterns why because only then you will know where price is uh heading and you will not be confused by these boxes like uh the one you are seeing on your screen the one i'm showing so you have to be um alert to these kind of uh, patterns and be sure to be trading uh what you will be seeing on your on your screen so that's what you are doing and this is uh our trade so number three we are going to be teaching you guys to avoid sniper entries why do i say that when you catch a sniper entry when you catch a sniper entry you are trading against the momentum of of the particular current price action of a chart why what do i mean if this is a a candle right this is a red candle or a green candle if you want to sell and catch a sniper entry you are going to be selling at this point while it's still green or while it's still black whatever the case it might be so if you sell here you are selling against all this momentum and expecting price to just re reject and leave you with a an entry at the pin that's okay that's very okay that's very okay for your instagram for your statuses and everything but if you want to be a very dangerous trader you have to go for confirmed enters why because they give you a lot of probability or a higher probability compared to their counterparts which which are uh, these pin entries why so with trading being a, a long a length a long term uh, game you need the probabilities to be in your corner all the time so uh you have to avoid entering against momentum and enter what confirmed entries by confirmed entries or confirmed reversals will be uh, talking about m's you'll be talking about w's talking about retests of order blocks retests of zones uh flip zones things like that that's what you will need if you want to to master price action and to be a uh, uh, to be very dangerous on price action so if you were here if you want to end on h4 you were probably going to uh, get your entry at this point then price moves away right that this would be a very beautiful entry right if you post it or something like that or if you are looking at it uh in the future you'll be saying yeah i, I caught a very beautiful one a very beautiful trend but uh you might have been what been stopped out because these kind of entries are going to be based on the one on the lower time frames or on the lower time frames so on the lower time frames they'll be having a lot of structures that you then um probably confuse for what uh in terms of setting your your targets and stop losses so let's say if you got in here maybe after this big uh, green candle right maybe a stop loss goes just below and if you buy here you will have been stopped out but then confirmed you will mean we go on h4 the h4 is the order block your stop loss is going up below the ob and how much is it 
uh, in terms of pips we are going from uh, 33 pips right 30 pips and you go for what you go for 90 pips that's one in three guys if you get three of those trades per week or two you will be okay you will be up six percent and that's what i want you guys to be doing and to be using then we go to um, uh, rule number four the rule number four is talking about um taking confirmed uh reversals oh okay guys let me tell you a, a brief story here that every trader is uh maybe this is maybe let, let me just say this is a a mistake that m almost every trader uh, has committed right so uh, let's say let's look at this chart you'll be seeing this you see where price is at the moment don't look here don't look on your left look precisely here You'll be seeing a pin and you'll be telling each other or there will be statements like ah it has uh, the this is just djpy so i'll be saying ah ej has moved up for a long time it's time for it to drop guys this is not how you you analyze charts you don't say it has moved for a long time or it has trended up for a long time it's been bullish for for, for weeks it has to drop now then you enter yourself there no that is um not a strategy and that's not trading so you will be looking at this and thinking oh it's been buying from uh, the 1st of august and today is the 28th of august so it's, it's been buying for too long just to drop let's say let's say let's say no 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 that's not it if you are going to be taking to be doing counter trend trades you have to take confirmed reversals you have to take confirmed reversals what do i mean by confirmed reversals okay let's look at this point this thing has been buying from this uh, let's just say the 29th of may to around uh, the 9th of what uh, the 29th march to around 9th uh, of the month of may so um maybe instead of getting your entry here just because you feel like it's been bullish for a long time you have to wait for price to what to actually take out this law this is the confirmation then the retest is your way of getting involved in the market and the next law is always your take profit don't be greedy know what you want and um, look out for what you want and when you find what you want strike like it's your last time. so this is this has been a what a, an uptrend right so we are taking out this law this is the confirmation then this retest becomes our point of what our point of entry and our next uh take profit is the what is this law you you know what we're talking about and this is these are potential take profit zones again so that's what you need to do when you want to uh be working on the conf on the confirmed side side of things this is what we are doing and we are sticking we are sticking to what we know and number five guys don't be greedy uh -uh everyone knows what i mean and there's no need uh, for me to explain what greedy is in the markets as you know uh, the markets are, are are moved by fear and greedy those two Im hum human emotions those are the two emotions that were, that move the market so don't be greedy um it's it's it sounds simple like when i say don't be greedy uh someone out there will just stop being greedy no there, there are steps that you take uh, when you want to eliminate greed from your trade. You have to think in probabilities, number one. You have to think long term. You have to have a strategy and a set of rules that you follow. When you say set of rules, a lot of you guys think we're just talking about uh, technical uh, rules. Where No, when you take off rules, you talk about um, money management rules, uh, psychology rules, uh, and technical rules consistency so the consistency that you are seeking in the market start from you having a set of co technical rules so technical consistency will ultimately breeds consistency in your in your trading guys it's been wonderful having you here um, i hope you got something from this uh episode uh channel guys trade what you see i'm shocked and i'm out